In this video, we will talk about an unprecedented feat, the use of a laser weapon to defend against drone attacks. How Israel took a laboratory project and transformed it into a weapon in such a short time. The Aaron Bean was born at a critical time for Israel, with the increase in threats from drones, rockets and other short-range weapons. In response to these challenges, Israeli defense industries, led by Rafael, came together to create a truly revolutionary solution, the Iron Bin, with a very clear objective, to provide precise, cost-effective and rapid defense against short-range aerial threats. However, it was during Operation Iron Swords in 2023 that the Iron Bean was effectively put to the test for the first time. In response to the war started by Ramaz in October 2023, the Lebanese Rezbollah launched one of the largest drone and rocket attacks in recent years. And it was precisely in the midst of this massive attack against northern Israel that the Israel Defense Forces, with the support of Rafael and other agencies, accelerated the implementation process, putting the Arenbin into operation with impressive speed, taking only 18 months from its conception in the laboratory to its use in real combat. The rapid implementation of advanced defense technologies in Israel is nothing new. And a clear example of this was the Iron Dom, which revolutionized defense against rockets and small-caliber artillery. Now with the Aaron Beam, the Israel Defense Forces are ready to face new threats with a solution that costs very little per interception and has much greater real-time response capacity. During the conflict with Rezbollah, the IDF used the Iron Beam to intercept dozens of drones and short-range rockets, which would otherwise pose a great risk. The images released by the Israeli Ministry of Defense clearly show the success of the system, with a laser beam quickly destroying aerial targets. The operation was a trial run for the Aaron Beam, with engineers, many of them in reserve, ready to make quick adjustments and field tests. One of the challenges faced was the need to ensure that the system, which initially seemed like science fiction, would work in practice against real targets. But what exactly is the Iron Bean and how does it work? It is a directed energy weapon that uses multiple laser beams to destroy aerial targets, with its main advantage over conventional systems being the cost per shot. While air defense missiles, such as those used in the Arden Dom, can cost up to $1,000 per intercept, each shot from the Iron Beam costs only a fraction of that, or around $100. Furthermore, the Iron Beam does not rely on physical ammunition, meaning that the number of shots fired is not limited by the number of missiles available, with the system perfectly capable of continuing to fire indefinitely, as long as there is electricity available. However, like any new technology, the system still presents significant technical challenges. Air density can interfere with the effectiveness of the beam, especially when the target is far away or in adverse weather conditions. To address this, Arnhem Bin uses hundreds of small laser beams aimed at the target. Each of these beams is very small, reducing the spread of energy and allowing the system to hit the target precisely. When a beam is detected hitting the target, other beams are redirected to further concentrate the energy until the target is destroyed. While the Aeron beam is effective against relatively slow targets such as drones and rockets, it also faces limitations when faced with massed attacks or very fast targets. The system is not yet capable of intercepting large barrages of long-range missiles, but it is an excellent complementary tool within a layered air defense that includes Iron Dome and other longer-range interception technologies such as David Sling.
The introduction of the Aeron beam marks a strategic shift in the way Israel approaches air defense, with the system going far beyond being a mere response to current threats and representing a true paradigm shift in national defense. The system is designed to function as part of an integrated network complementing the Arden Dom, Arrow and David Sling systems. Together, these systems form a robust defense against a wide range of threats, from long-range ballistic missiles to low-cost drones and rockets. The effectiveness of the Arden Beam becomes even more relevant in the context of tensions with Rezbollah and other regional enemies. The proximity of these groups to Israel's borders and their ability to launch barrages of drones and rockets threaten the security of Israeli communities. Therefore, by integrating the Iron Beam, Israel not only increases its defense capabilities, but also reduces its reliance on expensive and limited traditional interception systems. The future of the Arnhem Bin looks bright, with plans to expand the system's capabilities in a variety of combat scenarios, with one of the next steps being its integration into more advanced versions, such as the naval Arumban, designed to protect Israeli naval vessels from airstrikes and anti-ship missiles. In addition, the system will continue to be improved to intercept faster and more multiple targets simultaneously, further increasing its versatility on the battlefield. Israel is also developing smaller, lighter versions of the Arnhem Beam, such as the Light Beam, which can be mounted on light vehicles and used in mobile operations, providing a dynamic defense against drones and other short-range aerial devices. The Iron Beam represents more than just a technological innovation. It epitomizes Israel's ability to respond quickly to new threats with creative and effective solutions. For the first time in the modern history of warfare in the Middle East, Israel will have a defense that is cheaper than its offensive means. Whereas previously groups like Rams and Rezbollah launched 100-ton rockets that needed to be intercepted by $1,000 missiles, Israel can now defend itself against these threats with concentrated energy pulses of just $1,000. And in addition to the cost reduction, the Israelis will no longer have to worry about shrapnel from iron beam missiles falling on urban areas. After interception, modern warfare is transforming and technologies like iron beam are a reflection of the changes that are coming at an ever-increasing pace.